Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs and today guys I'm gonna be telling y'all or I'm gonna be breaking down the multiverses official trailer and a little bonus um clip that they posted on Twitter all today. I didn't feel like I seen too much breakdowns in the trailer, so I wanna just give like an extended um I guess information about everything that they're dropping and also show the new gameplay if you haven't seen it already um that they released for us. And I'm just so excited for this game that I also just want to, I guess, increase the videos on this game to get it more popular because I feel like this might be the best fighting game up to date versus all the other ones that have come out before. I myself am not like a true fighter gamer, but this game possibly might turn me into one just for the fact of the support and esport um, support that they're already giving for this game. I'm not, like, again, I'm not too sure how the esports is in other fighters. I feel like it's very small and very not backed up by the devs like how multiverse is going to do with the warden brothers i'm pretty sure like smash you know that smash bros has all their events and stuff but i'm pretty sure like smash has only what released maybe one or two official like tournaments and the rest are just like third parties and like venues and all that stuff that people put together the fact to see a game actually commit to esports and going to be running their own tournaments should be an amazing thing the last time I heard a game, you know, commit to esports day one was, I think, Valorant. What well, a game other has, you know, committed that they're going to be doing esports right away. So, enough of me blabbering. Let's get straight into the video. Hi, I'm Tony, the game director and co founder here at Player First Games. We're here today to give you a first look at our new game, Multiverses. Just want to show it off right there right off the rip this game is going to be free to play as you can see free to play that is amazing already two years ago we had a question can we create a platform fighter that embodies everything we love about the genre remove the pain points and brings in some new ideas multiverses emphasizes teamwork and social play with an ever-expanding diverse so from looking at the screen already it looks like there's going to be like certain classes that all the um characters are going to have and something called horizontal so i guess that's like their maybe their special way of like taking people out so i'm gonna guess it's you know horizontal and um vertical and then obviously at the last you can see looney tunes it tells you where the character's from looks like we have some contracts that we could do on the side you know to get some coins and xp and you see in the bottom left we actually have some currency so it might be stuff that you could buy versus like you know skins and you know going on banners and all that you know you know the casual stuff that um every almost every game does now get more into it though cast of characters that you know and love this is our take on the competitive platform fighter cooperative deep combat mechanics across multiple platforms and free to play everything is better with your friends and that's a bond one so from this page as you can see we can see level one so it looks like leveling might be a feature in this game not sure how it's going to work but hopefully throughout the video we can get more information on that but definitely looks like level is going to be something i'm in this game i want to emphasize across our modes especially in 2v2 so looks like in 2v2s it looks like your team has a total of four lives not like smash or other games where everyone has a certain amount of lives and if you're out you're out it looks like this is the first team to get um knocked out four times a win so it looks like possibly you know your teammate can die four times if you're able to survive throughout it which is i guess you could say good and bad because it's like now you get to i guess you could say it's good and bad because one you get to focus the bad player but it's bad if you're you know you're the bad player and then your teammate can't help you you know it, it's it's gonna be something but we'll, we'll have to see when the game releases or they show any more gameplay in the future Hi, coming at you. every character has unique moves that focus on so i'm not sure if you saw that right there but it looks like there's no friendly fire like like hit attacks because it looks like harley quinn was hitting um jake right there and it didn't look like bugs got hit at all Hi, coming at you. every character as you see like he's still jumping so it looks like there might be no friendly fire but you know we have to keep watching the gameplay to fully see that unique moves that focus on team play whether that's a smoke bomb from Batman to cover your team's movement. Back by now. Steven shielding his ally for extra defense. Need a shield? Saving someone with a lasso tree. So it looks like this game is like hardcore on the cooperative, you know, side of gaming, which is phenomenal. Like, I never seen a fighter so it's like it's like the character is like fully synced up when you two v two. It's not no, oh my move does this and it can help out both of us. No, my move is it's supposed to help us, so that's that's a cool um, feature that they have. 
or using Bugs Bunny's tunnel. Oh, that's lit. The better lit. your teamwork, the better your chances are to win. You're under my protection! We built the game from the ground up for teamwork and co-op yeah. to deliver a more unique experience and we think players will enjoy. And for those yeah, of us... Yeah, okay, so yeah, so it looks like there's no friendly fights. Superman literally just flew right through his teammate and didn't hit her. Will enjoy. Yeah. And yep. for those okay. of us who like to play that's solo, confirmed. don't worry, we support that too. Nice, they still support Stark solo for people. Afraid. Our roster has some of the most recognizable characters, so bring them to life with as close to one-to-one -one representation as possible through visuals, their worlds, their music, and more is important to us. That's why iconic voice talent powers many of our characters, like Kevin Conroy as Batman. I am Batman. In fact, I just want to, so I'm pretty sure everyone knows this already, but you know, I'm so happy to hear voices and, you know, different, you know, like actors in this game. Because the last fighting game I played, <clears throat> if you know, um, Nick Brawl Stars, this is that game was very a disappointment. Cool, like, fighting mechanics, but the fact that the game was just so quiet kind of irritated me. I think you'll recognize. I'm happy to see that they, you know, know added all this powers. stuff. My roommate thinks I have anger issues. Let's see what you think. Get ready to eat my sword! We're excited to show you our takes on characters from Tom and Jerry <laughs> to Arya Stark. Not today. To. Wait, dude, I got all kinds of tough guys on Shaggy. Zoids. Each fighter in multiverses yeah, yeah, is yeah, unique. Shaggy. A range of Shaggy. Really times people have been acting for this like in Mortal Kombat and, and stuff. That's <laughs> just the tip of the iceberg. I'm gonna eat so many Scooby Snacks. Multiverses supports cross-play and cross-progression. So you Looks like the game supports cross-play, so that means it's going to be on multiple... Not only that it's free-to-play, it's going to be on multiple platforms. If it's able to hit every platform beside, I guess, you know, mobile or something, that would be amazing for this game already. Um, Now let's look into it. So it looks like we're already going to have custom lobbies, as you can see right here. Um, You know, you can change their features however you want to and stuff, yada, yada, yada. We already can figure that out. And you yeah. can focus on what's important, who you'll play with, on what platform you want. Friendship power! That also means guilds and more social features. Guilds. So you have clans in this game. That's going to be interesting. I, I want to hear more about this in the future, though. Get ready to challenge other guilds with yours and see who's really ready for a fight. We'll have leaderboards and other ways to prove who's the best. Leaderboards? Leaderboards over... Yeah, I don't understand how many games lack on this feature. Leaderboards. So many people love leaderboards. They love to see who's doing the best or who has the most and this and the third. For the fact that so many games leave this out of their game is is so annoying that people have to make third party websites just for people to see it. Peep the the consumers, the gamers love to see leaderboards. They love to see who's on top. They love to grind, you know, to be up there in numbers. This thank you, multiverses. Thank you. Thank you for listening and understanding what I, from a gamer perspective of what we like to see and what we like to know and the guild thing i really want to see what that means and then he also said other ways so i'm assuming already tournaments if they could do in-game tournaments like rocket league this game is going to be a triple a off rip off rip for the fact that a lot of games haven't even thought of what rocket league has done with in-game tournaments is just ridiculous and the currency that you could get when you're <clears throat> competing and buy exclusive stuff is just it's a crime it should be a crime well, let's keep continuing. Remember the last time you DC'd from a match? What about lag affecting your inputs? Us too. Multiverse's goal is best in class online. We're investing a lot into making the most responsive gameplay in netcode. Now I feel like every game almost says this or tries to do it. So if they could truly do it and give us some real dedicated server that doesn't bug out and all that stuff, that'd be amazing. Obviously, no one plans for servers to bug out, but if they could really take the time to shit, even make their own servers to make it run phenomenal, this game is going far. This, this game is, I hope it takes over like the fighting scene. Almost all the fighters come to this game just for the fact that it's just... It's just so happy to see that this game is dedicated to it. Versus, uh, versus I think, Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla is good, set in stone. I feel like I love that game. Um, I don't compete in it or, you know, have any interest in competing in it, but I love watching and, like, seeing the top players. And it does look like they do have a comp scene that the devs do take care of. But just other fighter games that I know about or, like, low-key fighter games, I feel like just get no attention because I'm not sure, like I said, if the devs truly do put into it or it's just not enough audience. But, you know, it would be nice to see all the fighters you know, going into one game so the game can grow and prosper and, you know, but yeah, I mean, let's stop blabbering on. 
in addition to dedicated servers from day one for the life of the game. Our vision for Multiverses is that anyone, anything is possible. We'll serve our community with regular updates, including new characters. Okay, so here we go with the leveling now. It does look like there's special abilities or bonuses that you could get for your character with these little traits it looks like. You also get taunts, so because you could get taunts, you could probably get banners, profile pictures, and I'm assuming costumes because I think I've seen costumes in this game already. Um, but that's fucking amazing. Like I said, there you go with the whole um classes, you know. We saw mage, now we see assassin. We still see horizontal. I'm I'm assuming vertical. It has to be a vertical. You can't have horizontal and not have a vertical. So, I guess that's like I said their specialty of how they end people, you know. You want to focus more on horizontal moves set with her, vertical moves set with other people, and then again, it tells you, you know, who they are or I mean not who they are, where they come from and etc. And it looks like they have a difficulty level of like I guess trying to learn her. So I guess she might be one of the top players, but we don't know. Characters, modes. Ah, so there we go. There we. Well, could have just waited one more second. But yeah, it looks like these will be like the bonuses. It looks like they. It looks like characters will have like one special set move that they can add, and then three small ones. I'm assuming this with the, you know, the sizes of <laughs> the fucking diamonds. But yeah, so it looks like you can have offensive bonuses, defensive bonuses, and utility. That's going to be something. I feel like this is going to definitely be abused more than these because I guess this is like bonuses on what your character can already do. So it just increases the value of your moves versus, I guess, doing a little more damage or maybe knockback or defensive that take less damage. But yeah. Skins? Yep, there you go. Skins. So I'm, again, I'm assuming that when you level up, that's how you get skins. At least these skins. Obviously, like I said, the coins might be how to buy. You know, they're, they're super custom. Skins that they're gonna have. I wish they have. I hope they have a lot because it's gonna be interesting on in this game. And events throughout the year for you and your friends. And events. Wow. So they're actually gonna have events in this game. That's gonna be something. Like again, you might get exclusive stuff by just playing it, playing a few games, which is gonna be lit. With your help, we want to grow multiverses to the best game it can be. So whether you want to freeze all your foes at once or compete in esports, you'll compete have a in esports. They already confirmed that this game is gonna be fully backed up with esports and that means they're gonna focus on it and they're gonna have tournaments there's still gonna be third party events and all that stuff but for the fact that the company that makes the game you know is doing the esports is phenomenal it's, it's just it just it just sounds too good to be true we just have to wait to see the release you know <laughs> home here batman versus superman let's settle this once and for all that's our first look into multiverses we've got more iconic characters and features to reveal Sign up at multiverses.com for a chance to participate in our upcoming playtests. It looks like they had their playtests, unfortunately, to let y'all know if you're now just watching this video and you're just now learning about this game. The playtest has already happened, but I'm pretty sure they're going to have a couple more pre-alphas and betas and stuff because I'm pretty sure this game just got announced in November. Obviously, it looks like they've been working on it for, I think, a year or two, like he said at the beginning. But, um, yeah, they're definitely going to have a little more you know betas there's just no way they wouldn't have that they can't have one play test and be like all right it's time to go unless like i said they're they're almost done and the game's about to release so it's either gonna get more betas to test the game or we're gonna get the game really soon <laughs> one of the two both are good but yeah we want to hear your feedback victory i haven't even broken a sweat oh what amazing what amazing and then i'm gonna show y'all the um the exclusive clip that they just kind of just showed us recently. Like I guess they're already showing us combos. That was a teamwork combo right there with the save. So it looks like the teammates can also use. Oh my god, this game looks like something. Oh Victory! my goodness. That was this exclusive, you know, I guess things they showed us. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. You know, leave a like if you did. Comment about anything you have to say. Hopefully you can, you know, chat it up in there. You know, because I love reading comments and, you know, getting back to y'all and stuff. Also, I do want to apologize for any real game, you know, fighter, fighter gamers. If I, you know, said anything that was, I guess, wrong or it was misleading information or anything. Like I said, I'm brand new to this and I'm just trying to get into it because it looks something very promising that I want to get into. And it's the first time I've watched one of my videos. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys. It's free, you know. 
I it up. But yeah, I am out, guys, and peace.